this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm just going to build a quick people search power app that you could embed into your SharePoint site or just use the power app. Um, so at this moment, at the date of um, August 2021, I've not seen an out of the box web part for people search uh, for your organization. So this is just a quick power app that we could implement. Um, I've seen this done a couple of times and I've, I've been asked about this you know, from many different companies. So it must be a popular thing. Um, and this is just to so just have a little power app where you can search people in your organization and it can retain their information uh, just as a people search web part. So what we're gonna do is we've, I've just created a new blank canvas app here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a text input. So insert text input and we'll have that here. And then I'm just gonna insert a gallery below that. So, so what we're going to do is we need to add a data source, which is the Microsoft 365 People Connector. So if I just come into here, go into Connectors, and we should have Office 365 users there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. This connection connects us to our Active Directory, and that's where we can pull in those users from that Active Directory. So what I'm going to do here as well, I'm just going to change this text. I'm just going to remove that text, and have that as blank, and then I'm just going to put the, the hint text on search here. This, the user will type into the search box the name that they want, and then this gallery will start populating as they type in those results. Um, so, that's that. so what we want to do now is we want to add in the gallery, we want to add um, our command to populate that gallery with the items which is typed in here. So if I just highlight my gallery one and go to the items property, and I'm just going to paste in the command here. And that is now pulling back. So what it is, is we're looking at the Office 365 users connection. So that's this. And then dot search user. And then in that search user for the search term, we are pulling in the text that is entered in this text input here. And then this just retains the top 500 just to put a limit on that. So now uh, we just want to format the properties here. So this item, so we can change that to display name. And then we've got this item and we can change to mail. Okay, so there you can see that that's populated this from users. So now if I just start typing in here, Kyle, that retains my Kyle accounts and that is great. So next, what we want to do, we can just delete that, but that will give us some errors. Just fix this. Okay. Okay. Now we want to do is just so there's our selection working. That's pulling from our Active Directory. So as you can see, I've written Kyle. That's pulled all the Kyles that exist in in my Active Directory. So now what we can do on the right here is we could just add some labels, um, which will populate from the person that is selected. So for example, if we've selected Kyle Crowley, then we can show more information on that. So for example, I will just put, you know, the department that I work in. So. We put the text there and then for the label that's displaying we just want to show this command here so for the text we want to have office 365 so it's got office 365 users dot user profile version 2 and then we've got the gallery dot selected dot id and then dot department so that's pulling back the department of who is selected of the ID that's been selected in this gallery. Now it looks like I don't have a department related to my profile in Active Directory, but that's absolutely fine. 
Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste this. And we'll put another one. We'll do city. And actually, if I just remove back here and I just sort dot, then this pulls up all of the records that you could actually you know use to pull back as these records. So I'll just put display name here, which should obviously pull in Kyle Crowley. So that's fine. So I'll just put display name in this. Yeah. Let's see what the ones we want to add. Show as a U. And there you have it. So, so that's just an example of how you could do that. Obviously, you know you can pull in more fields if you want. And um, so, if I select that now, you know that just that just changes between those records. And um, if I do admin, you know this pulls our admin back. Um, and there you have it, you know, that's a quick people search, it's connected to your Active Directory, so you can add all the design that you want, um, and then you can just embed this into any SharePoint pages that you want, and that will work. But, uh, I hope this is okay for you, thank you for watching, and take care.